Okay, this is perhaps going to be the shortest video I've ever made for you. Very easy. Just watch. Page three, we went over. Uh, one of the classes, at least, we did not do the bottom of the page. So let's do that real quick. How do we calculate UCM, Uniform Circular Motion Quantities? Uh, up here, Uniform Circular Motion is the name of the game, this unit. So the players. We're going to learn the game soon, but here are the players. Just as a reminder, very easy. Because we've done this, we have three physical quantities that we typically discuss when describing circles. Radius, which is minuscule r, diameter, which is capital D, circumference, which is capital C. Beware, diameter and distance are not the same thing. This is so essential here. That's why we distinguish between capital D and minuscule d. Diameter and distance are not the same thing. So if you look here, if you are undergoing circular motion, the circumference or the distance rather, the distance is that an object undergoes is the circumference. The diameter is that straight line cord that hits the center. Those are definitely not the same thing. Please don't mix those up. Okay, anyway. We also are going to use, over here, average speed, distance, and time, distance being minuscule d. And this is all related to that uniform and the motion. So the motion allows us to do speed, distance, time. The circle right here forces us to consider radius, diameter, circumference. And the uniform actually allows us to use a particular equation that we'll look at in just a moment. Here we go. Note, the distance around a circular path is the circumference. Distance is circumference for a full circle. You do half circle, it's half the circumference. You do a quarter circle, it's quarter the circumference. You do 10 circles, it's 10 times the circumference. Now, back over here, circle and speed equations. Well, hopefully you already know that the radius is just the diameter split in half. On the same token, the diameter is twice the radius. And circumference is pi times diameter. In your reference table, they provide this equation. Circumference is twice pi times radius. That's on PRT5. That's about it. There's your circle equations. Is there an area equation? Yes, but we're not going to use it this unit. It has nothing to do with what we're doing here. Objects move around the circle. They're not moving over the surface area. All right. The uniform part of this, the uniform motion, allows us to use the V bar equals D over T equation. The V bar equals D over T. Typically, we will use this as a scalar equation. The average speed equals the distance over the time. Typically, we will use here the scalar version. Mostly because if you make a complete circle, then the displacement is zero, then the average velocity is zero. And in this case, it doesn't help us. And just beware down here, sometimes you're going to have to jump around. Sometimes I'll squeeze you a little bit. Give you a radius, find circumference. Okay, that's easy. But maybe I give you a distance and make you find a radius. That's a little harder. Because a distance, then you have to say, oh, that's a circumference. And then I can turn circumference into radius. And so on. Probably the hardest one of all would be distance to diameter. Even though they're both the letter D, you think they're similar, but they're the farthest from each other, uh, excuse me, furthest from each other in terms of actual equation. So that distance is the circumference, and then the circumference you have to turn into a diameter. Anyway, none of these are hard, and that's it.